Jesus, it's like a small horde of crawlers. What have I done? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Last Town of Survival. Welcome to the new update 1.8.5. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It is here. Without further ado, let's quickly dive into what it has and then go to face the new witch boss at the new infected forest. I guess, spoiler alert, that's one of the things that it has. But without further ado, boom, here is what we got popping off so far. Celebration party. Last Town of this turned one year old to celebrate the occasion. We prepared a fun and colorful event for you. Crush enemies with your bare hands and get gifts we'll make sure to go ahead and stop by and pay that a visit but here's the important thing the horde and the infected forest a new creature has appeared in the infected forest the witch the second boss to be added into the game apparently she is directly connected with the zombie horde they also say that she possesses the ability to control and even summon them stock up on guns explosives and first aid kits and check for yourself which of those rumors are actually true killing the witch may yield you trophy that can be activated beware of thorny plants as they are damaging game balance and features we've updated the recipes for the recycler you cannot disassemble even tiny parts like bolts bearings wires etc from now on you'll need fewer resources to feed the dogs and rules they've updated the terms and conditions like everyone and their mumps has been doing lately but without further ado let's get going i think this should be plenty to keep us going the double shotgun rain that we can turn into some shotgun storm we got some first aid kits and we got a whole ton of fun should all be going well i hope you guys have your favorite time today on the most amazing variety you know already know that i am because we are diving into such an update and ooh, the forest meadow i'd love to go and pay a visit to you but first things first we go to the forest of infection hello my friend my witch who may be lying and below that comment section down below what your favorite part of this update is as we check it out in this episode or just what you think so far i'd love to hear that down below enter my comments which are third of the way into the week to our data itunes slash play store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure to like button make sure to subscribe that lets you win on today's video i can go down and try out every single last earth video once i rolls around pick a random video from the past week pick a random comment for a random video and that'll be the winner for the past week and we'll get off a new week of giveaway as well so make sure the subscription is a hit but the notification bell is hit as well so you stay tuned and never miss a vid but look at this the revamped in forest man and you know we already cover updates absolutely asap but before we dive in a little bit too deep it definitely looks different it's got that bloody stuff in the middle i got some shotguns here that should hopefully uh keep us going if if all goes well do we start whole going hoping for the best i done diddly do believe that we do hello floater bloater luckily i got some of that to Help me out a little bit. There are enemies for days wandering here. What is this? Is that... Oi! I think that's the witch lads. We got 20 medical kits over here without further ado. Hello, witch! How do you do? Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, I shot her arm off! Well, let me just say, killing the witch with the shotgun is uh, pretty freaking nice. Oh my god! Oh, maybe doing that much damage to the witch at once isn't the smartest idea. Jesus, it's like a small horde of crawlers! What have I done? Oh my god. Okay, we gotta start dealing with some of that. Jesus. Okay, maybe using the shotgun rain to its fullest capacity might not have been the best idea. Look at these things. There's so many. What? Oh no. I don't like this. I don't like. Well, there goes one shotgun. Okay. I mean, we could. There's definitely the ability to try and speed run her. But first thing with the shotgun. But first things first. Jesus. She summons crawlers for days. Bringing medkits is definitely. A worthy investment and there's the crowd zombie i don't know why you're here crowd zombie oh my god we got a lot of these guys i'm just shotgun rain you why is it getting this foggy oh no she's back oh she regenerated all the way well ain't that just great that's something we gotta try and keep our eyes peeled for um do we even have another shotgun what is that noise being made is that her how much damage does she do that's what i'm trying to find ow that much what in tarnation why does she do that much how can i tell that she's about to do so much i'm kind of scared um, why don't we heal up really quickly? Oh, I can't because it automatically switches to that slot. Ain't that just great? Okay, let's uh, equip that. Uh, we can continue doing damage. So we got to watch out, though, because apparently uh, healing is in her blood. It's okay, though. She might fall here. No! She still got 110, and oh, boy. We got a lot of these guys coming at us. Jesus, this isn't what I signed up for. Oh, my God! What in tarnation? No, 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 no. Okay, hold on. Can I just equip a gun really quickly? Ow! Well, we're dead. Jesus! That boss is no joke. I can say that with a lot of confidence. Hot dog. Okie dokie. Artichokies. 
Woo! Not interested in your clean, cleaning tool there. I'm interested in giving that boss another go. Good God, man. That is one tough cookie so far. All right, so we got our armor back. Uh, ooh, we do need a military backpack, don't we? We should just be able to get our back to our body right away honestly if not that's gonna be a heartbreaker but we got these two we got the medical supplies hopefully this will uh keep let's put those back into the proper order hopefully this is enough to keep us chugging because god dang that boss summons the most zombies i've ever witnessed uh, we might need to whip out the minigun for this one boys i feel like you know a little bit of a little bit of minigun action on that horde should deal with it actually not nah, dude I, I just feel like an ak or something at that point maybe a vss actually a vss wouldn't be too shabby we do have one on our dead body so let's hope that we can get to our dead body if not we'll run away like uh screaming little girls or screaming little boys whichever scream you prefer wow that just sounds weird when you say it out loud <laughs> uh we still got these raiders showing over here the 200 reputation rate it feels good man finally to reach that milestone but dang feels good to have a bit of a challenge on our hands that zombie is no pushover especially just because like Dude, did you guys see just how many zombies got summoned? Like, I ain't got enough shotguns for that. Like, I hope, I, hopefully we have enough meds for this. Like, we're bringing the extra 20 here. Hopefully the military backpack's there. I'm trying to take out this witch, see what she contains, and then go to celebrate. I'm not trying to celebrate before I go to this boss battle and probably die because I've never witnessed it before, but definitely trying to go to that celebration a little bit later, my friends. It looks very cool, very fun, and it's around for a week. All right. Let's enter on in. Let's hope that uh, not everything is just running after us, but it definitely might be, which is why I'm slightly horrified. Yo, I think we're good. Can I get to my body? Is my body okay? Yay, we live. Oh, bless up because uh, that was not going the direction I wanted it to. There should be more than enough guns to keep us going. We got two full quality shotguns right up ahead of us. We got a couple guns here. Honestly, I kind of want to go to the VSS here as the backup. Use the VSS to clear out the horde because the VSS we can kind of uh, utilize pretty well. But dang, man, what is this thing? What? What is this thing? I, does that blow? I don't know. I kind of want to find out here. Is, is this going to blow up? Like, what, what do I do? uh c4 yeah right dude like i'm using c4 on this hello witchy how do you do witchy poo i'm gonna start taking you out instead is that what she like regenerates on or something okay she's run oh these this is where the crawlers come out okay so this is where we switch on over and uh try to take out the crawlers from afar okay using the vss appears to be a very good plan because there's a lot of these guys jesus man jesus good god i hope i was faster than these guys how fast can we go full auto? Because we got to go pretty fast. Oh, no. Don't want to go too fast here. Because then things just don't go. Oh, my God, dude. Hold the phone. All right. Let's start taking these guys out. They shouldn't do too much damage if we take them all down at once. Okay. As long as it's just crawlers attacking us. Could be worse. Okay. Okay. Take out those crowd zombies. Uh, do we have a backup VSS? We don't. We do have back to two shotguns. So I think that's her coming. Hey, witchy poo. How do you do? Oh, no. Oh, no. What? Why does she do so much damage sometimes? That's not fair. We just got to keep on uh, keep on killing her. We might be able to do enough damage here. Uh, we just got to watch out for that thing that she does sometimes. No, she's running and screaming. Running and screaming. Okay, I know what that means. That means we're about to get a lot of friends coming this way, isn't it? Okay, so I'm just going to sit here and uh, spam the bejesus out of the friend button, a.k.a. Uh, just do as much damage as I can to these boys and girls as they come towards us because there's a lot of them coming towards us. Jesus! This is the true meaning of a horde. Whatever we're witnessing right here, this is insanity, lads and lassies. Okay, hold on. Let's heal up a little bit. Just move this back to the proper spot. There we go. There we go. Okay, and then we can just finish them off, hopefully. Do some damage. Not as fast. It's not with our shotgun rain buddy, but the witch, I think she may have gotten her arm blown off by now. I don't know. We do have a shotgun and a VSS we can kind of go to. I'll honestly... Woo -woo -woo -woo. I'm scared of that thing doing a lot of damage all of a sudden. All right. Will the witch finally fall? Another arm goes, and there goes the head. Down with the witch. Down with the witch. I say, Jesus, that is a stressful boss battle. That's another thing I'll say. It just summons a bejesus ton of everything, and there is the head of the witch. Put it somewhere in the house and make a fire to stop the horde from attacking our face. I believe that gives us three or four days of immunity. Oh man, does it feel good, and oh man, is that a little bit of a tough cookie of a boss battle. I really quickly want to see if there's a crafting recipe. 
for this uh, head of this witch? Or what are we supposed to put it on? I am not. Maybe we just got to put it down like it's a building material. Is that what it is? Uh, like when we're back home? Maybe. All I know, though, is... Uh, whoo! That was tough. That was tough. Oh, my God. Ow! Ow! Freaking... Does, do, do those things attack me? It's not very nice. We got C4 in this. I don't know why. I, like, maybe I'll come back with one of my C4 and, like, C4 it for science. But, dude, I don't know. Using C4 on this, a little easily measly boss battle and people stuck to the trees. Hey, people stuck to trees. How you doing? Sorry, you got to be stuck in a tree, man. That's my bad. But, oh, he's blown up and stuff. But, yeah, what are these guys up to and what is happening to him, man? Looks weird. Okay, let's finish this guy off with the... Uh, Scar, we brought the Scar out to play. I didn't know how the adventure would go. We ain't bringing that out to play no mo though. I like the way that it is right now. Uh, we can do something with this tree. We can interact. We can chop it down. Do we want it. I like. Can this tree give us something special? Ooh, I do wonder if the wood that you get from these trees it could actually be kind of special in some kind of way. That's something that we gotta look into. I believe, but let's just keep on looking through the rest of the zone. I want to see all that it has to offer. Don't want to, you know, don't, 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 don't really want to do half seas. You never know. Maybe there's something hidden, but so far it appears that the witch head is what we have acquired so far. And three of these things, freaking bulbing. Ow. Okay. And apparently these things are very painful. So watch out for the painful things they are painful pain. Well, it doesn't feel good. Well, I guess for some people it does, but in most instances, pain is painful. And that is not exactly the greatest of feelings coming from first day experience. Like you're breaking an arm, you know, like you might go out there and be like, good luck to someone, like break a leg. You ever broken a leg? Doesn't feel good, man. Doesn't feel good. But hopefully the forest meadow will be full of feel good type of vibes. That's at least what I'm banking on, man. You got the giant one. You got like this, like, what is that? Like that box was like a freaking present, man. I want to check this out, but with the boss being behind us i'd love to hear what you guys thought of that and if you think you can take that thing on because we've uh, it's just a lot of crowd control and honestly i think the best strat is don't even run away from all those crawlers or whatever they're called the ones that crawl out of those things oh i think that's what c4 does honestly i think c4 stops the crawlers from spawning in because the crawlers are spawning in uh from those like giant like bulby things you know what i'm talking about I think that's what it has to do. But so far, dude, pretty big update. That's an awesome revamp of the Infected Forest. Loving that. And oh my god. Is this just copper here? Dude. Um. Uh, okay, can I, can I mine this with my... No, we need iron pickaxes. Well, apparently we can freaking... Hello, Roman zombies. How do you do? I'm a... I'm a out. They do fight back, but apparently we can kill them. Hey, surprise. Happy anniversary. Yo. These are the greatest zombies of all time. They don't have blood. They have happiness and confetti. Greatest trade on A. Look at them. They're even blown up like that. What is in this giant box? Labeled number one, however. I'm number one. No, the box is number one. What you got, Mr. Box? Oh, happy anniversary, kids. I like what I'm seeing. We got a freaking book, dude. Uh, I wonder if these books, maybe they're going to be... <gasps> Oh my god, puppies! Puppies for days! That's a one puppy, that's a two puppy, that's a three puppy, that's a fourth, that's a fifth puppy! My inventory doesn't have enough room for all these puppies. Why do we read one of these perks, dude? Oh my god, how much XP did we get from that? Oh, not even enough to level up. Ain't that great. What about the forest one? Nope, not even enough to level up. Okay, I thought we could maybe do an unboxing for some hype or a, a crate opening. I still gotta put something away. Ooh, we can equip this and get another freaking puppy. Talk about H happy anniversary to you too, Kafir. I think that this is a great anniversary present. I think everyone will agree. Oh no, I didn't mean to start shooting you guys. I'm so sorry. I, I wanted to punch. I wanted to punch you. I guess that's not happening. I'm gonna pop your boys off with some VSS. Boop. Happy birthday. Boop. Happy birthday. Boop. Happy birthday. Boop. Happy birthday. Yeah, it doesn't get old. Uh, so this event is kind of amazing. Here's the issue, though. I think it might be a one-timer type of event. What do I mean by that? Well, we do get some free copper. I wonder if we get a bejesus ton of copper from here, though. I feel like that's something they could have done. 
to the oak tree so bring pickaxes bring hatchets here uh we didn't get any unfortunately otherwise i totally would have done that but nonetheless man you got oak trees spanning about wild turkeys puppies just this is a great anniversary present thank you kafir and if you guys didn't hear apparently they made part of the puppy uh breeding easier i think puppies demand less food or something along those lines but with this with this amount of dogs we gotta go home here for a little bit but whoo it's about a fuego update so far can't wait to, to continue seeing what kafir's got up there Steve. can't wait to hopefully continue seeing that with you so if you're new to the channel because of the new updated so make sure you subscribe like i said not just for the giveaway but to stay tuned for all them updates all the informations about last and other dope survival games such as stay k2 raft all of which we are playing a little bit it's pretty fan for fantastic broski at least in my eyes but we have arrived and here we are what do we want from here well first things first let's cash in on all these dogs and oh my god yeah we could honestly with this amount of dogs, why don't we get a little bit of puppy breeding done? I still got some cash left over from the last time I made my wallet cry. So <laughs> that's good. Uh, we're about to have a ton of puppies we're going to be able to breed. All in all, man, I said, let's go for it. All right, it's part of the anniversary update. And dude, another electronic circuit board too. Freaking dog food to help with our breeding adventures. Like, yeah, I don't know. That's just, that's just such a great crate. All things considered, I love it. But God, do I love electronic circuits. Nothing makes me happier than them. And regenerating a little bit of health because we're back at home. But okay, with all of these puppies, let's go. We've let them free over here into our playpen. I'm not trying to let all of them stay aka i do want to do some breeding because uh well these they they that means that more food gets eaten and, and i want to minimize how much food's getting eaten because currently a dog food will last for 30 minutes if we have less dogs that issue kind of solves itself so let's get to open it let's get to seeing what winston and annie and then we can do some breeding of these puppers no worries uh, we're just gonna make sure to always get one of each i mean it, it looks like it's pretty even though in terms of like uh how many females and how many males we got that's gonna be very important for breeding purposes in case you guys didn't know because we can't really just toss two dogs at each other just be like hey yo <laughs> bring bebe you know there's got to be some intricacies that are satisfied or some something along those lines uh, so I'm not really expecting anything huge. This is the first wave of stuff we're getting. So nothing super crazy, but hopefully we do get something a little bit good. Ooh, you know what I should have too, by the way? Uh, the dogs we should make active. We want to make, oh, uh, which, which dogs are the good dogs for that? The dogs that have, uh, is it witty? I think it's the witty dogs. Yes. So we want to, um, how do I do this exactly? Oh, just drag and drop. Okay, I, I have not messed with the puppers in a while. Y'all got to cut me a little bit of slack here. Um, uh, so Cooper's witty. Okay, is Bandit witty? Uh, Bandit on oh, no, a leader. I'm not. I'm not looking for leader. I'm looking for witty. There we go. Witty, witty, witty. And Rudy's gonna be a little bit witty. This will be great. I don't think we have any other witty dogs. I believe that's all of them. The rest of them are leaders, which make Lexi more powerful with her true friend. Okay, though, with that. I think we got some level one doggos. Let's see if maybe, maybe because these are from the anniversary, they'll be super amazing luck. Something like that. We got Holly. Hello, Holly. How do you do, Emma? Nah, I can't. I can't breed Emma. We ain't got no level two boys. All we got is level ones. Let's continue the breeding of the level ones. We got Sadie. We got Buster and Stella. Create Baxter and finally Winston and Annie. And we got Katie. So that's gonna be another level two added on but we did get a level two male i was gonna say like that's another level two female added on we're looking for males we got one of those oh emma what did you do where's why'd you just pop up over there emma she just came from the top what in tarnation all right who do we want lady or roxy both of these seem to have the bloodhound so maybe this will oh my god roxy is like max level bloodhound never mind roxy's staying uh she's staying oh we got a white rudy pup too Although I think the white Rudy is a level three and we need level three females, not level three males. Ah, oh, God dang it. What about Louie over here and stuff? Louie, what is this? Louie, okay, Louie's a level one. I don't even remember having these dogs around. Let's just, let's just get all these dogs growing on up and let's hope that we can get some, uh, you know, okay, so Holly's a level two. Sadie, what about you? Oh man, oh man, they're all level twos. Why do I have an army of level two dogs? Plenty of level one or level two female dogs. Plenty of level one males. Not plenty of level one females to match. Yeah, like, 
literally this is just how are you gonna do this to me Ooh, madison's a level three what about here luna's a level three all right this leaves us with some doggos to play with madison madison Ooh, madison has a high level leader rank though uh well if we get princess here she's a i'm, I'm looking through level threes never mind i want okay so like madison and emma both are really good leaders yeah honestly i think both these guys gotta stay butts up to madison that's actually great news that we got uh, such a high-ranking leader so now if we reorganize things we can get madison down over there we can get the other leader pup which i believe was that and then we do have one more chilling up here and whenever we go out to play that's an extra eight damage coming lexi's way because of the leader perk look at that extra damage done by lexi i think we have one more leader perp dog but yeah that only increases it by one so that definitely helped out right there all right but that's enough played with the puppers we got all that settled uh if we take a quick peek ski doodles here at home by the way you guys can see we got raided three times guess what we don't have a revenge raid apparently that's awesome so out of like barely getting raided to getting raided quite literally three times our own dogs wandering through three times and not having any footsteps back no sweet revenge for us and they started breaking through some scary walls why do i say scary they don't usually break through these walls man it's got me sketched out they broke through this wall once even like there are definitely some wall repairs that got to be made honestly i say we embark upon doing that for a little bit here because this is pretty important and ah we gotta climb back up to four freaking skulls of raining man this is gonna be a doozy and here we got a little bit of an inventory built on up we'll get to getting those repairs going but first things first the witch's head that we can build by the looks of it it does need to be on outdoor ground it cannot be stationed within a base or anything of the sort but you guys can get it popping around somewhere there so i did want to have this in my trophy room which means we might need to make some renovations to the trophy room maybe add an outdoor space for the time being for now though i guess that we can put it somewhere around here i guess we'll put it by the pickup truck since we kind of do spend a lot of time chilling over by the pickup truck maybe i'll do it to scare away all the freaking ai who always pop up yeah i'll get it right here to try and scare the raiders to not mess with me but i mean we'll be able to move it so it's not too big of a deal we can go and check that out but we are in the area of where everything is absolutely went awful oh by the way the recyclers continuing work electronics up to 35 man we grinding our way up as soon as it is 50 that's max got a little bit of inventory room here to get these walls repaired and it i don't know it just seems like after they hold on hold on just uh, i gotta spread some vitamin p can't leave the ground on vitamin p it's an essential vitamin and nutrient for all living organisms all of them every single one yeah oh man we really gotta fix up these walls too we got a lot of walls to be making repairs on if you ask me freaking noise machine yeah a lot of walls to make repairs on. let's get these two down south and while we're getting these two we can also uh go and say, take, pay, pay, blah, blah, blah. pay a visit to the witch's head see i wonder if it'll give us an option to light it and if it does do we want to light it yet because i don't know so i can press it make a fire and keeps it burning to avoid horde attacks as you guys can see uh she does have a health bar i'm guessing that that will go down as this goes down but this is a very cool mechanic here for a station it's like a a building or like a workbench that disappears that has durability to it so oh i hear oh that's just my dog wandering around so very freaking cool obviously can't move it around it does serve like this we can probably get multiple actually i don't think we can have multiple witches heads down i think it is a limit of uh limit of one it doesn't really say that but we can oh we, we can take it back i wonder if we take it back after it's been used up a bit will the head like have durability loss that's something i'm actually gonna look into that actually seems very interesting a little bit but again that's how it appears to be you light it it keeps the horde from coming at you but here's the thing and also the reason i probably don't want to light it quite yet best time to light it is right after right before a horde's finished attacking because if there's a horde currently en route to your base you ain't gonna do nothing about that sorry to say that horde is already zeroed in onto your base but if you get it burning it will prevent more hordes from being created so if there's not like this like it will not be able to spawn in a new horde so like if it's 20 minutes away you light it that horde will attack and then there will not be a new horde that comes to you as long as that thing is burning it said that the witch does respawn so i'm guessing it's technically possible to never get attacked by the horde 
if you can visit the witch often enough that's kind of the vibe i'm getting god i love the vibe i get from shooting zombies oh and making them go boom boom and disappear oh we do have one more wall here to grab up north before we can start making the repairs we got a lot we got some important repairs to be making we might even be needing more resources for said repairs in a little little bit what resource exactly well i don't think we're gonna have enough of the ah, i mean this is currently enough to fix up three walls uh, the walls i'm interested in fixing up are the walls close or the ones that don't usually get broken into those are kind of priority number one then we'll move on into the ones that get broken into on a daily basis anyways so it's not not a huge deal uh let's get that one fixed on up and then that one fixed on up marvelous how much wood we got left by the way how much wood how much wood how much wood 14 all right this is kind of I, I wouldn't mind doing a certain little little tactic here where we get some level one walls dish them out out and about all through here to provide an extra layer of protection should the bad dudes uh can you please just continue going in the hallway like why is this so difficult just in case the bad dudes think about breaking in they'll have a lot of level one walls oh no i got my pupper trapped in there but it's kind of in an adorable way so it's not the worst thing in the world uh but i think that's enough of getting that done now comes especially because we still need yeah a couple for the actual repairs happening over here about four walls worth i stopped off at the perfect amount of time definitely not coincidence 100 percent plan that can't prove otherwise all right and then the final wall goes there and marvelous we're out of level ones and it's all up to the level two upgrades that we don't have enough pine planks foe mm. might need to go and look for those all right this should be enough that we have gathered here for us to hopefully create the final finishing touches that's one that's two that's three will we have the finale necessary for four the base is back and looking to its most secure of selves except for the fact that apparently we had a double agent that broke into here and somehow broke level two walls in our base i have absolutely no clue how that happened but it happened and i gotta be accepting of it but the perimeter appears to be nice and secure besides that which is absolutely great news and ooh, another thing i wonder is with this update since we got the witch added in i wonder if they might add in uh, a new raider quest maybe a couple of raider quests even potentially because we do have well fighting the boss the blind boss over in the bunker so i feel like you know attacking the witch could be fitting could be made into one we haven't had new raider quests in a while and i feel like the rating system is still something that kafir should always be trying to perfect so for snaps they'll do that in which case i'd love to hear if you guys have any other ideas for other quests they could potentially add in i think the witch should definitely could definitely be one here's the thing the witch is a pretty hard one so at the same time maybe not because that is definitely a tough cookie uh if you i mean if you have enough shotguns actually it doesn't appear to be that bad it took us what 10 medical supplies although it, it, it's hard to count how long it took us because it did take us a second try to do it right but yeah as long as you don't run away from those crawlers it looks like if you just kind of stand your ground and kill them as they come to you it should be plenty but you better come kitted out you better come loaded out to that boss battle and even if you really want to defeat it like i said you can use the c4 on it i might try and show that off in the next episode for example uh, or the next time that it respawns because we got a lot of c4 and i wouldn't mind putting one up for the use of science but there we have the freaking effigy thing that we can light we could light it for a little bit but no no we must wait for this horde we will light it next time but this is going to wrap up for this episode of last day i want to earn a survival that you guys did enjoy if you did make sure to like button and make sure to stick around for mo just like this uh make sure to enter that giveaway too best of luck to you guys there but uh best of luck to you guys getting your chopper gas tank joy to the chopper squadron best of luck breeding your dogs leveling up your skills protecting your base going out on raids defeating the witch that's definitely something I'm wishing you guys a ton of luck with since that is the new hotness with this update. Best of luck getting all that juiciness from uh, the, the update as well over in the anniversary zone. Best of luck getting past the multiplayer wall. And most important of all, best of luck and absolutely a favorite fantastic date all along the way. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.